So here we are Monday the uh, 23rd of March and um, I'm off up to a campsite where I'm going to be doing some maintenance work for a couple of months. Um, the whole country is going on clamp down and most campsites now have been told to close down. Uh, so a lot of uncertainty in the trade. So where I'm going I may be there for a couple of months. Um, I'm not too sure but it's within commuting distance of coming home if I need to and I can leave my van um, on the campsite and say so the campsite owners so far have been absolutely brilliant. So, lovely day. Um, I'll hit the road and um, say goodbye to my compound for a couple of months. So, a little bit of an update on, um, on today. Um, so it sets off this morning, a two and a half hour journey up, uh, up the M6 up north, up to the Scottish borders, where I'm going to be for possibly a couple of months. Uh, and then I may have to return home, we'll have to wait and see. Or if things pan out, this is where I'm going to be a, a warden. Um, lovely little site, uh, as you may be able to see, nestled away, um, not far from Hadrian's Wall in the distance. Um, ducks and chickens, and there's a reception block, toilet block, showers. Uh, yeah, nice. Let's have a quick look inside at my little setup. Um, so I've put up a, as you'll see, a small porch awning. Um, it's my Adria caravan. An uh, Altia 632. So if you remember on a previous vlog I did, I mentioned about these crates. So these crates all had clothing in, um, and other things which I packed into the car and now they are a mini sort of pantry so some beers and other bits and bobs shoes and say so I'm on a hard standing pitch at the moment um, into my van if you've not seen this before so I have got Wi-Fi here so that's my little um, setup where I can actually work because I do still have a internet company called a nice place.co.uk so that's doing websites maintaining websites and design so if you want a website let me know television i've got a free view box to set up usb stuff obviously in my bed um treated myself to an alarm clock to make sure i get up my can is all self-contained so toilet shower bathroom um under the bed so I'm not going to lift up, but under the bed there's a huge amount of storage space. So I've got bits and bobs in there. Um, yeah, some t-shirts up there. Bath stuff. Stuff in the cupboards. Um, as you see, uh, all stuff and everything all hanging nicely in the wardrobe. And um, yeah, so going to be settling here. Um, a few days to myself just to sort of get familiarized slightly with the area although we could all be going on lockdown at any time now um so i have got enough provisions for a, a, a good couple of weeks so if we're advised not to move or go out then that's fine i can stay on site um yeah who would have thought it though two weeks ago everything was going to be i don't know business as normal um and this campsite is now currently closed to to everybody but just because of this coronavirus and my hunch is this could well be um like that for the next three three months possibly longer i don't know if you can hear um the bird song listen to this bird song i don't know whether the um camera's actually picking that up it's a dump station for motor homes there's fresh water, get Elson Point, and under happier days, if everywhere was open, we've got a nice little seating area here, um, and reception, washing up, there's uh, bunk barns, showers, toilets, um, everything. The bird song is absolutely amazing. Anyway, as ever, I hope that's sort of been some use to you and it give you a, an idea of what it's like to be a, a, a newbie caravan warden, campsite warden, caravan site warden. As ever, if you want, give it a thumbs up. 
give it a subscription, hit the notification bell, and you know, I'll see you on the next one.